Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. Today I have another shoebox unboxing to share with you. It has a light year theme and it was so much fun to pack because every time I walked into a store, even without trying, I found something to build the box and it was usually at a rock bottom price and that's, that's always fun. As it turns out, I collected more than I needed for just one box, so I was able to build two, and I've packed both for five to nine-year-old boys. They're almost identical, so I'll only be unboxing one of them, but I hope these shoebox gifts and the good news of Jesus Christ will take both of these boys to infinity and beyond. Both are packed in the exact same standard shoe box that measures uh, seven and a half by 12 and a half or not not quite 12 and a half probably closer to 12 and a quarter and I'm going to put this one aside for the moment I decorated the inside of the lid of the box just with some packaging from some of the toys that are in the box and I added the words, you are loved to infinity and beyond. And when he looks in his box, this is what he'll see. Now, out of everything that I found, I didn't find a stuffy specific to Lightyear, which is okay, it doesn't have to be exact. So I gave this boy a cute little tie beanie tiger by the name of Prance. I thought he was really cute and would be loved by a boy this age. But he does have a whole lot of Lightyear toys packed in a shoebox gift and this Lightyear fidget popper is one of them and this was a fabulous deal at one of my Walmarts. I found it as unmarked clearance by using the Walmart app scanner function and they were a quarter. This one and the other one that that's black, it's a different shape. But yeah, that was a fabulous deal. And he's got a Buzz Lightyear figure. And this guy comes with a light blade. I've actually taped it to his arm. It fits in his hand, but it gets knocked off when it's packed in the box. So I'll just leave it taped to his arm, which is another reason I attached uh, some of the toy packaging to the inside of the box. So he has it here. Uh, sometimes I cut these out and just put them in the box, but I thought I'd decorate the lid with it. This shows Buzz holding his light blade and it says on here with light blade and then and there's also a spaceship in the box and this shows that it has retractable landing gear. And speaking of the spaceship, here it is. It has a miniature figure of Buzz inside the cockpit and the landing gear does pull down if I can do this. Yeah, even a 70 year old can do it. So that's a very cool spaceship. Now inside the other box, he has a different spaceship and some different figures. They're, they're smaller Imaginex figures and he's got four of them and a different spaceship. Both spaceships and the figures in both boxes I got on clearance at CVS I want to say it was after Christmas and they were pretty cheap, like a dollar something each. He's got a Lightyear coloring book. I found this at the Dollar Tree a while back and I only bought one because I thought at that time I was only packing one Lightyear box. Unfortunately, I couldn't find another one for the other box, so I included in that box a Toy Story coloring book that includes Buzz Lightyear in it. He's also got a Lightyear spiral notebook. 
I found this at the Dollar Tree as well. And I was able to find a second one later on for the other shoe box. Recently at Walmart, I found these reusable food storage bags that came in a four pack of different sizes. I think this might be the biggest one. I decided to pack these in a shoe box because they are great for containing whatever. If you want to put a puzzle in it, uh, his toys, his underwear, he can use these at home. Uh, his parents can use them to store food in if they want to do that. I did have all his toys stored in here, but I wasn't able to pack it that way. So I just gave him the empty food storage bag. He's got a box of crayons to color in his light year coloring book. A couple of light year Hot Wheels. This one is one of Buzz Lightyear's vehicles. And the other shoe box has a different Buzz Lightyear vehicle. And then this is Buzz's cat socks car or represents socks the cat and the other shoe box has an Izzy Hawthorne vehicle and all the Hot Wheels light year vehicles I also got at CVS at the same time I got the spaceship and figures and I think they were like 60 something cents 65 cents something like that he has a light year toy that's going to be hard for you to see because I decided I'm not going to take it out of the bag. I'm going to let the little boy who receives this box put it all together. It has illustrated instructions on the front of the bag. This is Alicia piloting the SC-01 transport ship. And this is a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. I believe this was gifted to me. I want to say it's from Val. Tell me, Val, if you, if you gave me this or not. I'm usually pretty good about labeling the items that are given to me by who gave it to me, so I can credit them in my videos, but either I did not or it came off because I don't see it anywhere. Val um, has given me some McDonald's Happy Meal toys in the past, that's why I'm thinking it was probably Val from V. Swain Shoebox Sundays. So I apologize if I got it wrong, but please speak up and let us all know who helped me pack this box with this cute toy. Something else from Val is the Jesus Loves Me stress ball. You probably saw me pack one of these in a previous shoe box. She gave me several and this both boxes have this. I was able to fit an entire outfit in this box, oftentimes in the larger sizes other than toddler. I don't fit shorts because they're bulkier, but this is that lightweight, uh, dry wick, dry works, dry works, moisture wicking fabric, a pair of shorts in black with a checkerboard pattern on it with an elastic waist and I gave him a size large 1012 and a coordinating shirt. It's gray and black and it also has a pattern on it, almost kind of like an outer space pattern. I gave him a bandana. This is a Black Panther Wakanda Forever bandana. It came in a two pack that I got on clearance at Walmart at one point in time and uh, this is one that I had left. The other box does not have the bandana. He's got a couple pairs of underwear. I think both of them are boxer brief styles and both are Hanes but just different styles. The navy and gray pair were actually a contribution from Joan Cowan last year. I think it was a, I want to say it was a six pack of boys underwear that she contributed. He's got a couple pairs of socks. He's got a pair of Umbro socks in white and black and a pair of Spider-Man socks. 
And here is one of the other food storage bags that came in that set of four. I think this is the second to the largest. And I used this one to create a hygiene kit for him. I put a gray washcloth in there. He's got a Marvel lip balm and a couple of toothbrushes. Those were contributions from Joan Cowan, as are these skateboard band-aids. She contributed those last year and I have some left. He's got a comb in there and a silicone bracelet. So I think these work perfectly for hygiene kits. And if I didn't say, those packs of four were 50 cents. It's in a couple of stores, not all of them were 50 cents, but some of them were. He's also got a Buzz Lightyear reusable drink pouch. These fit pretty easily in a shoe box because they're nice and flat. Has a little carabiner on it that he can hook to whatever. And these came in a two pack from Walmart and I got these on clearance for 50 cents as well. At the same time I was finding the drink pouches and I think I also got Encanto. He's got a light ear pencil pouch. I found this recently at the Dollar Tree. I was really excited when I found two of these. They're filled with pencils, pens, an assortment of different erasers, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and a highlighter. And the same thing is in the other box. Unless I, I say otherwise, the same thing is in the other box. And then I gave them both a pair of scissors, which is separate in the box because it made that a little bit too lumpy to pack flat enough and fit everything else that I wanted to fit in the box. Both boxes have one of these Toy Story penny erasers that has Buzz Lightyear front and center. I gave them both a friendship bracelet making kit that I put together using some friendship bracelet thread contributed to me by my friend Denise L. And inside I added some illustrated instructions that I printed off of the internet. And I'll, I'll put that uh, link below so you can find that for yourself if you're interested. And I just slipped it into a little resealable bag. These are great because they don't take up a lot of space and it's a nice little project for a child. I think I usually give these to 10 to 14s. Um, I think it's still good for like a seven, eight, nine year old. Five and six year old may not be able to do that. But I think the kids at the upper end of the age range of this group would enjoy doing that. He has a light year little golden book, which has an abbreviated story of light year and the space rangers, introduces all the characters, has a lot of great, colorful, fun pictures for him to enjoy. And the other shoe box also has a light year storybook, but it's not a little golden book. It's one of those I can read books and it has pretty much uh, the, the exact same storyline and similar uh, colorful pictures in it. Each one I got on Amazon at different times using gift cards. So they didn't cost me anything. But they were around five dollars I think. Five or, or six, maybe five ninety nine. I gave both of them a game of Uno Go. Those can be found at the Dollar Tree. Both boxes have a pad of Lightyear stickers. These also came from the Dollar Tree. First page has some really cool puffy stickers on it. And there's glitter stickers, foil stickers, and glossy stickers. Four pages. He's got a cross and a whistle that I attached to the same cord. The, both of these are from Hobby Lobby, and uh, the cord came with the cross, but the whistles uh, didn't come with a cord, so I just put them on the same one. He can take one off if he'd like. Uh, it says, whistle while you work on the whistle. 
He's got a spaceship pen. Yeah, that's a pen. It's a little nooks and cranny item. One of those things that I slip into the box at the last minute to fill up all the little nooks and crannies. Then they fall to the bottom of the box as I'm unpacking. Here's another one. Little skateboard. This one says touchdown on it. It has a football. Just for a little extra fun. I also slipped in there just a little bit of information from the back of the Hot Wheels packaging so he can recognize, it says in, in microscopic letters there, socks, so he can recognize that the car is the socks car and that this is Buzz Lightyear's car. Something else that I slipped into those nooks and crannies after packing the box are these Lightyear magnetic chip clips. I gave him four. I thought it could be quite useful for him and his family. They could use them as clothespins. They can actually close food bags, whether they happen to be paper, plastic, or cloth bags. Um, what else could they use these for? Come up with some ideas and let me know. But I just figure it, no, it's not a toy but I had the space in the box to put them in. I gave him four, came in an eight pack from Walmart for 50 cents. So these were a quarter. He has a Christmas card from me with a personal note and a family photo. And here are the other two food storage bags that I just put at the bottom of the box. So he can use them for whatever he wishes. You know, these can even be used, particularly the bigger one, for school supplies. And the last thing in his box is a light ear tote that folds into itself. And I got this on clearance recently at Walmart for 50 cents. That completes this light ear to infinity and beyond shoebox gift packed for a five to nine year old boy. I hope this young boy finds joy in these gifts, and opens his heart to the good news of Jesus Christ. I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.